Okay, we're good. All right, time to go. We're gonna go to the local state park or county park, I think it is, and uh, we'll take Carly out there with us. Then I gotta stop by Harbor Freight. I gotta get a, a battery charger. For some reason, my battery keeps dying. The uh, engine battery in the RV keeps dying. So I'm gonna get a battery charger, keep it here on site in the uh, garage here. So anytime we need that, we can charge it up before our uh, outings and journeys. So I'll let you guys see the ride to the park so you can kind of get to know the area here. And uh, we'll film a little bit of that. Man, let's go. Let's go see what's over here. Let's go see what's over here. Man, you wanna go see? There's some boats out there. Look at the boats. Oh, there's some trucks down here. Buggies, these rocks aren't hurting your pawpaws, are they? Bug bugs. Look, there's some water down here, bug bugs. Buggies! You silly girl! Silly girl! You just went right in, didn't you, Bug Bug? Come on. Look at Carly Bug us. Uh. Yeah. 
yeah. I don't know. I guess there's nobody around here. She's gonna get her bags soaked. Good girl. <laughs> now you're gonna get me all wet. Unleash her. As long as we just stay right here with her. Hmm. Cardi, you're having fun now. You like that? You're having fun now, Cardi Bugs. Here, Daddy's gonna throw it to you this time. You ready? Or you gotta take a break? I'll throw it by that stick sticking out over there. Mm -hmm. Ready? He's ready. All right, ready, set, go. Good girl. <laughs> Good girls. Ready? Give it to me. You want to play? Now she's playing tug of war. Yeah, let me play. <laughs> you want mommy to come in there with you, don't you? Mm -hmm. Ready, set, go. Take a break. You're going to have to take a break now. You're getting water in your mouth. Come here, silly girl. Come here. Ouch! <laughs> no! <laughs> no. <laughs> you told her to come here. <laughs> mm hmm Don't shake off next to Daddy. <laughs> From the park and uh, show you a little scenery along the way. From around these parts. I'm gonna pick up a uh, battery charger and probably a long extension cord. Buggies is resting in the back there. She's laying down. That uh, swimming tired her out.
tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you I'll miss you if you go All right, looking for battery chargers Jones's Produce, and this is in between uh, that main road 27, Harbor Freight, and our RV property. So, this is where I got that corn from on the last video. We're gonna pick up some more juicy red tomatoes. They had some nice, large, juicy tomatoes here, and we want to pick up some more of those. Carly's still recuperating from that big swim she had, right, Carly? Are you still resting? You did a lot of swimming, didn't you? She loves to swim. So, we'll be back home shortly. parking shopping and now we're putting together some chili. We're making chili, cooked up ground beef, chopped up jalapenos, some bushes, uh, chili, pinto beans, a little bit of tomato sauce. And some water. ingredient. Don't share this recipe with anybody guys. Secret ingredient. And we'll mix all that together. Cumin turns your uh, 
tomato sauce and your beer addition into a nice chili gravy. And you need some of this. All right, here's the charger, the battery charger I ended up buying, Harbor Freight. I like the display so you can tell what's going on. All right. So let me go get this hooked up, see if it works. All right, I got it plugged in back there. Luckily, I got that wasp nest out the other day, so they didn't return. So we got the extension cord plugged in, got the battery here. And they say connect the ground to the frame. This is a nice piece of frame down here. I'll connect to that and then to our positive. All right, another thing I want to share with you guys while we're waiting for our chili to be finished, it's simmering in that crock pot. It looks really delicious. So that's gonna be a nice treat for this evening. Anyway, it's, it's nice to do something like that in a crock pot when you're out traveling and you can just put the crock pot in your refrigerator and save it and eat it for maybe two, three days and uh, relieve some of your cooking time. But I showed you in my last video this step right here this step right here it's actually a workout step and it works perfect for an RV or trailer it's the same width as your uh, your fold-out steps on the rig which makes it convenient and yesterday when I showed it on the video or whenever you saw that video I had it without the leg posts on it so you can attach uh, you can have this one level which is about that width that tall probably about three and a half to four inches and then you can have another leg on it on each side and even another leg and that's gonna lift it uh, a pretty good distance so that you don't have a long step up to your uh, built-in steps so it's really convenient when you get on an off-level site to have something like this and I'll probably just store it in the first compartment right here of our rig and then I can pull it out anytime I want guys another thing I like which I just love are these seats these are outdoor chairs nice outdoor chairs we picked them up at a local sporting goods shop I think it was uh, Durham's or Dunham's sporting goods but I got home and I looked for them online just to see because I thought they were kind of pricey but after feeling the quality of these I'm very very satisfied so I did look them up online on Amazon they are listed online on Amazon so I will leave the link for you below and they were the exact same cost no, was that a fly or a bee or wasp? Anyway, I'm loving them. They, they're kind of like a rocker system. They have built-in shocks on the back side of it. And it also has, if you can see here, a built-in cup holder. And it even fits a coolie size cup.
nicely so it's not down on the ground and the bugs where the bugs can crawl up into it it's right at your side on your chair and you can still rock with it and it holds its shape pretty well make sure you drink that beer down some before you put it in here and start rocking with it though that's my tip all right I'm going to show you how these work they fold up nice and compact you can see it over there there's mine my other one I got one for me one for my wife she just loves them as well there it is folded up so it folds up compact so you can store it in your basement compartment of your RV or rig or trailer where whatever you have out camping or even if you have to put it in a vehicle if you're going out for a special outdoor event I would highly highly recommend these at first I was thinking well I don't know how how easy are they going to be to unfold but once I got them home and experimented with them and found out it's just so easy watch this all right here it is right I mean it's kind of uh, it's heavy duty like I said and all you do All right, one other thing I want to show you guys, and that's around the side here in the water bay of our RV. I made another upgrade improvement. I did this yesterday evening. We went to Lowe's. My wife actually suggested it because she wanted to uh, wash Carly off, our doggy, outside. And she wanted an easy spot to do that. But if you look underneath here, underneath this bay here, that's where the water bay is. I'll show you. And it's got an outdoor water spigot and uh, outdoor shower hose right there. I went and bought a brand new, I guess a shower spigot. Uh, the hose and the, the spigot, the shower nozzle handle and everything that attaches to a regular shower and it actually fit on the factory hot and cold faucet. Let me get you in closer, I'll show you what I mean. Here we are in the water bay. Here's our hot and cold faucet. And this is the new shower head I got right here. I bought it from Lowe's, I'll leave the link below. Anyways, look at this, I bought actually two sets of these. They're only like $14 and something and some change. So I bought two sets so that, and I bought a connector threaded half inch connector to put two hoses together now before if you can see the one hose got all dry rotted and it was like hard and stiff this is nice soft and flexible again just like it was probably when I uh, someone bought the rig new anyway it used to come out to here but it didn't get out far enough out from the, the slide here so you couldn't stand up to use it. That's about as far as it would go. So now I've got twice the length. Adjustable shower head, try it out. Different settings. Now I still might change this to a hose, uh, handle, spigot, whatever you call it, the hose nozzle. Because I think that would be more useful outdoors. And just get one of them hose nozzles that have the adjustable where it has fine uh, and spray and mist and jet as well. That way I could clean stuff off better out here. But for now I got this with the longer hose and I'm satisfied with that for now. Let's just see how far this comes out. So look at that guys. I can stand up. So look at that. 
that comes out quite a bit more. It's going to be really handy, a useful outdoor water tool to have on board. Oh, Cheryl's going to try the chili out tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you got in there? Nachos and a little bit of sour cream. And, oh, sour cream too. Okay. What do you think of it? Tastes very good. Excellent. All right. I'm going to try mine soon. All right, guys. I'm going to try some of this chili out now. Got me a bowl. We'll see. We'll put it to the true test from the chili champion of the world. All right. Consistency looks right. Um, meat chunks look chunky. And pinto beans, which I prefer over the uh, chili kidney beans. So, and jalapenos, extra special. seasoning the spices the cumin brings out that gravy chili gravy flavor you don't taste that there's a beer in there that's why I need this one oh mm. let me get one of those jalapenos in there check that out jalapeno in there some bean and beef mm. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, must have. Do this with a crock pot. It'll make a couple nights dinners for you if you're out in an RV. Just get a small crock pot like we got. I'll leave the link to the one we got in the description below. But that's it, guys. Overall, I got my battery in uh, repair mode on the charger that we got today. And I want to show you something. While I'm here, I'll let that chili cool off a bit. But I put the key in the ignition before, before guys, I was getting nothing. No lights, it was like completely dead. But now I put the key in the ignition, turn it halfway. We got lights, blinkers, cameras, everything guys. So. The repair mode on that charger from Harbor Freight is doing really well. I'll leave the description of that below too. But it looks like we're going to have successful launch out on the road on our Canada journey in a couple more days. So guys, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our journey all the way through and over across the Canadian border. That should be interesting. I'll see you on the next one. All right, I think there's some action happening out here this evening. The sun's going down, so it's been nice and cool. Uh, battery charger still says in battery in repair now, but like I showed you, I do have uh, dash lights, ignition sounds and stuff, so it is repairing it good. Cheryl and Carly's out here playing ball. Good catch. <clears throat> she still has energy. Nice clear sky out here tonight, this evening. Nice views. At least up in that hilly area. Some nice houses up in that area too and that road up there goes all the way around uh, <clears throat> around uh, the side of the the uh, creek I guess or not creek but 
River. And there's a Ford's Marina right up the street from there. That's where that bridge is that we crossed. Ford's Marina. Good girl. Other than that, it's pretty quiet around here in the evening times, except for that one yappy dog over there. He or she's always put out on leash, and they just leave him outside to bark. Good catch.